said I'm sorry we couldn't give you a business account and I said but I don't want to borrow any money I just want a business account therefore you know because it makes you look more professional you can pay money in have maybe a checkbook which they categorically said no um, I had somebody it was Barclays actually I even wrote to Bob Diamond about it I wrote a two-page letter to Bob Diamond did he ever reply no he never no he never I still do bank with Barclays I don't know why I must be mad There are hundreds, thousands of people like me in the UK, really working hard, really, really trying to set up a new business in a recession. Thank you. And I have to say now, after two years, it's starting to get, go places, well, go places, I'm starting to get there. But with no help from anybody, only family and friends, helping me out when I've needed money lent to me. Because nobody will listen, I've got nowhere to turn to. We have to drive because we use a trailer and we also now have um, another vehicle. So everything is down to fuel and, you know, the more fuel costs. We, we just see, I think we're putting in something like £100 a week now, which is crazy money. Obviously, I buy copious amounts of chicken and I buy French chickens. I don't necessarily want to buy French chickens, but they are the best chickens I can buy for the money. I want to buy English chickens. I have now sourced a few places where I can buy corn-fed free-range chickens, but I am paying at least £1.50 per chicken more than I'm paying now. And believe me, my chickens cost me more than you can buy a chicken for in Tesco's. I mean, nothing's really happening with the economy and he can't keep blaming the past government know, so the whole time. Because they have been gone now quite some time. The more he sort of taxes people in different ways, the less money they have to spend, therefore the economy will not grow. So he needs to wise up and get real. He doesn't know anything about real people, let's face it. 